السميع العليم من الشيطان اللعين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربي شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم عجل لوليك الفرج عليه السلام اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم ونعن عليهم أجمعين Respected viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. In the hope of looking into the verse, وَجَعَلْهُ اللَّهُمَّ مَفْزَعًا لِمَظْلُومِ عِبَادِكَ O Allah, please make him the shelter to whom your wronged servants shall resort. Now who are these wronged servants? Are we talking about the people who are being ruthlessly killed? The people who are being oppressed, especially the Shia all over the world, who are being oppressed? Well, yes, but there is something deeper to it. Because if you look at the annals of history, there is no other greater mazloom than that person whose rights have been usurped. Now, to begin with, let us look at the meaning of the word zulm. Zulm actually means to oppress, and zulm actually means, in literal sense, according to the Arabic language, zulm actually means taking something out of its place and not replacing it. So when you take something out of its place where it stays and you do not put it back in its place where it belongs, you are actually committing zulm. You are actually oppressing. And so when we look at it that way, then zulm is that something taken and not given back. Now if I ask you what about Wilaya? What about Fadak? What about Karbala? What about Ghadir? When we look at all of these things, we realize that when, when we are telling Allah and when Imam is saying Oh Allah, please make him the shelter to whom your wronged servants shall resort. These wronged servants, these mazloom, are none other than the Ahlul Bayt. And according to certain narrations, it is narrated that Lady Fatima to Zahra alayha, during the time when her door was burnt and during the time when she miscarried her baby Mohsin alayhi salam. She said, O oh Mahdi, see what they have done to my Mohsin. That means to say, these wronged servants are none other than the Ali Rasul who have been wronged at the hands of the Ummah and the Sahaba and Imam Waqt we will reappear to come and avenge it. And when we look into Dua and Nudba, when we are looking at the seal of the Aina, Aina Talib, we look at so many verses that say, where is the one who will come and avenge the bloodshed of Karbala? Where is the one who will avenge the oppression made out to Fatima to Zahra? And all of these are there whereby we are saying that he is the one who will come. He is the one who is the relief for the pain of Ahlul Bayt because he is going to come and avenge all of that. All the atrocities, all the zulm that they have faced, Imam Waqt is coming to avenge. And that is why you and I want to join as well, isn't it? Because it hurts us that she was tortured. It hurts us that her children, her daughters, her sons, until now, they are being tortured. And so there's no other greater Muslim than the Ahlul Bayt themselves, than Rasulullah himself, who was also, by the way, poisoned. And then we recite, وَنَاسِرًا لِمَنْ لَا يَجِدُ لَهُ نَاسِرًا غَيْرَكْ The supporter of those who cannot find any supporter save you. There is no other supporter except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa ta 
and then we recite وَمُجَدِّدًا لِمَا عُدْتِلَ مِنْ أَحْكَامِ كِتَابِكَ the reviver of the laws of your book that have been suspended. This line is furthermore proof that the Madloom over there are none other than the Ahlul Bayt and Rasulullah himself. The reviver of the laws of your book that have been suspended. Which laws of the book that have been suspended? Can we stop for a moment and think which laws are those that Imam is talking about that have been suspended? Isn't it the law that says that today we have perfected the religion for you after man kuntum mawla fahada aliyun mawla the laws of wilaya prescribed in the Quran or is it surah al dahar the lofty status of the Ahlul Bayt or are we looking at surah al fajr or are we looking at surah al imran what laws of the book have been suspended? What are we looking at further which can very well be proved through the verses of the Holy Quran but that is for another chapter and not today. These are the laws that have been suspended, the laws of the book which Imam Zamana is going to come and is going to revive. And one more law, shrines cannot be raised to the ground. There is one law as well when Imam Zamana inshallah will reappear he is going to reconstruct the land of Baqiya, the land of Sham inshallah and so we further recite وَمُشَيِّدًا لِمَا وَرَدَ مِنْ أَعْلَامِ دِينِكَ وَسُنَنِ نَبِيِّكَ and the constructor of all signs of your religion and instructions of your messenger. The same instructions that we have previously spoken about. Sallallahu alayhi wa alih. Peace be upon him and his household. Waj'allahumma mimman hassantahu min ba'sil mu'atareen. Oh Allah, please include him with those whom you protect from the domination of the aggressors. Which aggressors? Which domination? The same domination, the same aggressors who murdered the Holy Prophet and the children of the Prophet till the 11th Imam. And so Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq alayhi wa salatu wa salam in this supplication is teaching us, is telling us indirectly about Ghaibah that he is going to be concealed and protected because the people out there are out to kill him. They did not spare his father and his forefathers. And then we recite, Allahumma wa surra nabiyika Muhammadan. And we shall come to this in our next clip, inshallah. Wa akhiru da'ana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma ajil li walik al-faraj alayhi salam.